It starts with uh, Bill. You listen to sit us. What is that? Or I could do push ups. Such so great effort. No, what are you doing? Kiss big coke can. Oh, just drinking a drinking some sugar drinks. I'm just drinking a like a, a drink, a power drink. Watching you work out. Oh, we need a drink. And then come back here. You're drinking a sugar drink? You're kidding me. Bill, what, what, what am I going to do? You're drinking sugar. You're eating all sorts of junk. It's not good to eat all that stuff. You know it's not good. So, you've worked your whole life. You stayed in shape. You deployed many times. You always got in shape. But now, you don't have a mission. And you're eating like crap. I like candy. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It, it really tastes great. It makes me feel good. Uh, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel good. Wow. So, Bill, how do I break this habit of getting this set foot? What do I do? I mean, I like to eat. I mean, who doesn't like to get to it? This is just a treat for me. It's delicious. Done. Fine. I guess the first thing you have to do, you have to recognize that you want to do it. You want to stay in shape. So, how do you stay in shape? Well, it's not easy. And the older we get, the tougher it is, if we know them. I mean, I think it's okay once in a while to have candy or special event, and things like that. But you have to work at it. So for starters, for starters, you've got to get rid of the, the sugar grates. Drink more water, things of that nature. Don't be too hard on yourself. And have patience. Do, uh, go walk. If you can't, go you know, run or t uh, do things. Um, get to bed early. Those are things that you can do. Well, well, that's, uh, that's interesting. So I feel like right now I'm ready to do some, uh, exercise. Let's go running. And then I go outside and I go running. So we set the table. We talked about what we can do. We can look at some diets and lifestyle and then work there. Start out with comedy and then work from there. Bill, do you remember when you get ready to deploy, what would you do? You get motivated, you get in shape. And how did you get in shape? You did the South Beach diet. That was good. Yeah, I do remember the South Beach diet and staying in shape. And I remember that yes, then, you know, in the boxes, but not eating a lot of junk there. I mean, I ate the healthy foods, the eggs, and I stayed as healthy as I could in Afghanistan because I had to stay in shape. My weight was good. Then I get home, and I have all this, these other things, the breads and food and all this other stuff I've heard really like. And I don't have to get up early in the morning and do PT. All this different stuff. Yeah, I agree. It, it is tough. It's tough. Uh, you know, not having a resume or, or not being as motivated. I guess there's motivation. So, not, so what could motivate you now? Your kids, your family, your your kids are grown up. Your youngest is 22. And uh, you've got some grandkids. They're beautiful grandkids. So they're, and there's so many things you can do to help. And, and still, you're young. You can still do a lot of things. You're a cinematography student right now. Just think of what you can do as a cinematography student. You can create art that will last forever and help people. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, that's true. That's true. You know, I think about the, the reasons to stay in shape that was to do it. You know, watch it. I haven't eaten a lot of chocolate, though, especially around Halloween because it's here. 
Well, you can start by getting rid of the chocolate. I'll do that and let's go. I think I have plenty of documents now.